Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to compute some limits from a graph. So let's do it. So we have the y-axis, we have the x-axis, there's x, there's y. And let's do this. Let's take 1, 2, 1, put a little dot here, 1, 2, 3, put a little hole here, and do this, and this. And here let's put uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's do 5. That's good. Okay, now from this graph we can just compute some limits for practice. Let's start by finding the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x. Okay, so the question is, what happens to the y value when x gets really, really, really close to negative 2 from the left? So here's negative 2, so x is getting close to negative 2, right? So the y value is getting really close to 1, so the answer is 1. Let's do the same thing. Let's approach negative 2 from the right. This is the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the right. So now we're approaching negative 2 from this direction. So as you approach from this direction, right, the y value gets really close to this little hole here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So boom, 4. So from the left, we get 1. From the right, we get 4. Therefore, the regular limit does not exist. These numbers have to be the same. If they're the same, then that is also the value of the regular limit. Let's go ahead and write that down. So the limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x does not exist. Remember, for a limit to exist, it has to be equal to a number, first of all, and it has to be the same number from both sides, right? From the left and from the right. Let's find the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. So as x approaches 0 from the left, it looks like the y value is getting close to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 5. Pretty simple. Let's approach from the right, limit, as x approaches 0 from the right of f of x. So as x approaches 0 from the right, looks like the y value is getting close to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. So from the left, you get 5. From the right, you get 5. Therefore, the limit is 5. So if you take the regular limit, I'll write it up here, running out of room. As x approaches 0, you get 5, right? So both one-sided limits have to be the same. Therefore, the limit is also the same. If they're different, then we say the limit does not exist. Just for fun, let's compute some function values, just to make sure you got all this down. Let's compute f of negative 2. So f of negative 2 is asking, what is the y value when x is negative 2? Well, when x is negative 2, the y value is 1, right? Because there's a solid dot there. The hole means you don't go there, right? No way. So avoid the hole. So right there, so 1. Boom. Let's find f of 0. This is asking, what is the y value when x is 0? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. That's it. I hope this video has helped you, uh, you uh, with whatever you're working on. <laughs> That's it.